Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Randy Shave for the Weekly Shave. We're going to be using today Sterling Island Man. Very nice, refreshing, very refreshing scent. It's a summer scent, but summer's not completely gone yet, so we're going to use it today. The um, scent notes in this is bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, jasmine, hibiscus, lang lang, ginger, sugarcane, musk, and rum. And it says here, the Island Man only makes its appearance during the summer season, so get yours while it lasts. I'm not sure if they still have it or not, but uh, this is the matching aftershave that goes along with it. And I have mentholated this. I did a video on that not long ago. You can check that out. Put some menthol in there. Um, the razor I'm gonna be using today is the Yates America. And it has a um, permasharp blade in it on its second use. Now this is the star of the day right here. This is a new brush that I've gotten. And man, is it a beauty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is a badger knot. And it comes from Elite Razors. There's the little coin on the bottom. A uh, man named Robert Quinn creates these. This is kind of a hybrid. It's um, It's got spalted maple burl up here and then just the regular resin down here. Makes for a beautiful brush. I got this brush. Um, th there's a guy I kind of go to on Facebook when it comes to badgers. His name's Benjamin Enos. And I got a hold of Benjamin and I said, hey, what do you recommend for a really good badger brush? And he had this and uh, he's got a gazillion of them. And he brushes, that is. And he um, told me he would sell me this and so I bought it and man, I really like it. It's a nice brush. Thanks, Benjamin. Appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and get lathered up. We're going to wet the face just a little. And we're going to start lathering. This brush is so soft. The tips are so soft. It's 24 millimeter, which is really my favorite size brush. Um, I can, 26 is okay, but my preference is a 24 or smaller. I like smaller brushes, but uh, man, this thing has. It has just the right amount of everything. Softness, uh, backbone, splay. You know, it splays out good. See there? Really nice. I really, really like it. Not to mention that it's beautiful. It is a really nice looking brush. It will become a regular for me. I tell you, I really, for me anyway, a really good badger that's hard to find. One that does it all. Gosh, look at all that lather. It's everywhere. It's even on my shirt. <laughs> that off of there. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the shave with the America from Yates. Great little razor. I love it. Of course, you know, I've got the, the Yates 921 and, and then this one. I love them both. I just kind of switch them out from day to day. And these razors, both of them, they have... 
for me anyway, just the right amount of blade feel. I don't like a lot. I guess you might say I like enough blade feel that I can tell I'm shaving. But I don't like anything like a, the feel from a R41 or anything that aggressive. A lot of people do. It's just a personal thing, as is a lot of things in this hobby. And just because I like or dislike something doesn't mean you'll be the same way. Speaking of this brush, I didn't even know um, Elite Razors existed until Benjamin introduced me here to this. They've got a website with a lot of beautiful offerings. I actually bought two new uh, brushes. When I bought this one, I'll show you the other one here in a minute. these what I call dangerous areas without saying much. <laughs> because if I'm going to get a nick, that's where it'll be. Somewhere up in here. Okay, do a little face spray here. Get ready for the second pass. First of all, the second brush I bought is one I've been wanting to try, and it is a trotter. Made by Paul Trotter. Um, I got this one used. I really liked the looks of it, and I um, got a really good deal on it. So I We'll be using that soon in a video. Can I be running all down my brush handle? Second pass, or second lather for the second pass. This brush feels so good. I just got some lather on my glasses. I'll have to take care of that. Yep. I made a good purchase when I bought this. You know, sometimes we make a good purchase, sometimes we don't.
This time I did. Okay. Let's go for pass two here. I've been using these perma sharp blades a lot here lately. Man, I I really like them in these Jake's razors. They really take off the whiskers and are smooth. No tugging, no pulling. They're a Gillette blade. I don't know how Outfit comes up with so many different blades, and they are different when you use them. A lot of choices out there. Benjamin, who I bought my brush from, he's from way up there in Massachusetts. And here I am in Kentucky, and I'll just admit it, that how to pronounce that state has always been a like not, a, not tough for me, but Confusing. We call it Massachusetts, and I think it's actually Massachusetts. I think it's the way it's spelled, anyway. I don't know how they pronounce it. But you know what? In here, here in Western Kentucky, we have a we have a different word for everything. Seems like. Down here in King Tuck territory. I'll tell you where I got my, my trotter brush next time I use it on the video. It came from Massachusetts also. Not from Benjamin, but from another guy who has a ton of of stuff on uh, wet shaving, what is it, wet shaving, wet shaving enablers, I'll tell you about that when I feature that brush. Get this neck good and smooth. This Island Man soap and that splash. I said I said it was refreshing and that's that's the best way I know to describe it. It's really got a refreshing scent to it. If you've watched me much, you, you know I also there's another sterling soap that I really like and it's their glacial peach. And this one has the uh, the same refreshing qualities, I'll call it, as the glacial peach does. Now this smells nothing like peach, of course, but it, it's just a nice refreshing scent. not too strong, it's not too 
Not too light. I would say on one to ten, the Island Man is probably I would give it a six. And it is long lasting. One of those you smell all day. I'm not into colognes. I never wear a cologne. But I do like an aftershave that lasts mo for most of the day anyway. Every once in a while I'll get a soap or a splash that You just can't hardly smell it. I definitely don't like one to be real strong, but I like I like to I like to smell it. Yeah, yeah, I've got my... There we go. All right. I think that's going to do it. Let me wipe my face off here real quick. And we'll do some alum. Then we'll do some alloming. <laughs> get that off of my shirt too while I'm at it. I gotta reach over here and get my alum block. I left it in my little drawer here. Now I got it. Wet my face. Another good shave. Still got that lather on my glasses. I never did get it off. Oh well. I'll be fine. I'm gonna rinse this brush out because I want you to see it. How much lather is still in that thing? <laughs> I love this brush because it, it holds a lot of leather, but it doesn't hang on to it. If, uh, if you need it, it's there. It's not a leather hog. I hate a brush that's a leather hog. Get it wiped off good. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Got that burl maple up there. It's just, it's just awesome. I like it. Once again, comes from Elite Razors, and you can find these online. 
They've got a website. Uh, hesitate to quote the address. Just go to Google and type in Elite Razors. It'll take you right to their. It'll take you right to their um, website address. Got a nice smooth shave. Now it's time for the Island Man uh, aftershave. You'll notice here on the you'll notice here on there I got a little M. It means I mentholated this one with the uh, menthol crystals works really really well if you've got a, a uh, if you like menthol and you've got a aftershave that's not menthol use those menthol crystals and cool it down and I said it before but you can go I think it's just a video right before this one on my channel where I show how I do that. But anyway, to recap, we use the Island Man soap, which has got a little blue tint to it, as well as the Island Man aftershave, which is definitely blue. Very nice. Uh, we used the Allen Block. We used the Yates America with a second use Permasharp blade. Nice little razor. See underneath there. Nice little razor. And as I said, the star of this show was the new Elite Razors Badger 24 millimeter Badger bulb knot. Man, I scored good on this one. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll be using the heck out of that thing. So, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know it. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And um, keep watching. That's all I ask. Keep watching. And keep liking. And um, hope you all have a great week. And hope you have some great shaves. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.